Morning traders, happy Monday and um, welcome to another week where inflation and central banks will be the um, the driving force it looks like, like last week was with the equity markets. So uh, we did see a big sell-off last week that came on the back of the hot CPI figures out of the US. Now this caused repricing um, of the futures that the Fed may start uh, raising by 100 basis points at a time. Well, that came back on Friday when a couple of Fed governors came out and um, Kind of walked back on that and, and said 75 is looking like the most likely case. So she saw that rally in equities uh, pairing the losses for the week on the US equities anyway. Um, going forward this week, very similar kind of drivers. We've got uh, a couple of big central bank meetings. The ECB, obviously the big one, where 25 basis points is um, a uh, has been priced in pretty much highly telegraphed by the ECB that this is going to be their first uh, a rate hike since 2011. Um, there is a small argument that maybe they'll go a bit harder, maybe they'll do a 50 based on the um, uh, deteriorating kind of conditions in Europe at the moment. Can they afford to wait to September to do another hike? Um, or will they just, the Hawks will win this one maybe, and uh, they'll get 50 outs now uh, before things get to the point where it's gonna be hard to justify any more rate hikes. Um, Bank of Japan also meeting this week. Now that's, um, Probably one of the most interesting bodge meetings we're going to have. Normally, there's not much surprises come out of them, and more than likely this time they'll just continue on, which has seen the you know the yen getting absolutely battered as they they um, keep this easy money policy and this yield curve the curve control. So there is a possibility of a surprise, but unlikely. But um, at some stage, that the bodge is going to have to do something about this yen. Um, Australia tomorrow, RBA minutes. It's going to be interesting to see if. 50 is the new 25. If um, from the minutes we get the impression that going forward, bigger rate hikes are going to be the norm, um, or if we'll go back to that 25 level. So they'll be pretty closely watched tomorrow morning as well. There's quite a few CPI figures, inflation figures coming out this week too. So look at them for New Zealand, uh, UK, Canada. Um, with inflation being the hot topic, those figures coming out, you're going to see a bit of volatility in those uh, respective currencies.